Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this Sunday episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we're also going to have a quick look into the Bitcoin dominance. So let's start straight with the content my friends because yesterday we had here this breakout to the upside and we created a new all time high currently at 24,220. So once more, congratulations to every Bitcoin hodler. This is just the beginning of the bull run. So let's see where Bitcoin is going to next. So currently, I think uh, we reached our local top here and we could see here a retracement back to where we closed also the CMEs on a Friday right here 22,950 so I think it is very likely that here we will come back down here towards this $23,000 area and then on Monday we're gonna see if we can see a big bounce to the upside or not because in theory we should see continuation to the upside also in the next coming week but of course uh, we're gonna have to see what will happen uh, during the week then and uh, here in the one hour time frame at least for now it looks like that we could uh, uh, start to trade sideways here a bit and potentially even come down again towards the $23,000 area because yesterday we had here this inverse uh, head and shoulders uh, pattern and as you can see here the target was exactly met if we pull out here um, here the measurement of this inverse head and shoulders in the one hour you can see that we exactly met the target and right now we are seeing the price coming down again towards the potential new support which currently is here at $23,000. So even though we are seeing now this retracement back down there is still a high chance that we could bounce from it and then potentially go towards $25,000 and even higher if we are able to take out this resistance line here right now at $25,000. But let's go over into the four hour time frame because here you can see that at the moment we still are getting supported by these nine moving average and also here the 20 moving average. You can see that every week that we had below the nine moving average came right here to the 20 and as long as we are closing four hour candles above this moving average we should expect the price to go higher and higher potentially to test here this $25,000 and also break above only if we are getting rejected here or if you see that here we are getting some resistance and sell pressure then i think we will potentially come down again again towards here this twenty-three thousand dollar area so as long as we're staying in this channel here between twenty-two thousand five hundred dollar and twenty-five thousand dollar i think we will move sideways here but always trending to the upside only if we will see a big breakout to the downside here or to the upside i think we're gonna see the next big move and in my opinion still potentially to the upside but be always aware that since we are very overbought and overextended a correction could come at any time and in that case of course the first target would be down here at the previous resistance right at twenty thousand dollar and if 20k will not hold we could face here again a major correction towards seventeen thousand or four $14,000 and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are squeezing in this tiny channel here so very soon here we're gonna overshoot it to the upside or to the downside so I think a bigger move maybe between one to three thousand dollar is about to come here pretty soon here the Bollinger Bands are really squeezing in the four hour and currently we have all the indicators shifted to the downside stochastic is already in oversold condition but it looks like that we still have some room left to the downside especially if we have a look here into the MACD and KSD they had a bearish cross and that could indicate that we will come down again towards $23,000 at least potentially even down here to test this 20k area and this is I think a very good chance to open up a long position maybe with low leverage so even if the price retraces back down towards $17,000 or $14,000 you can easily manage to keep alive your trade and DCA into your long trade if you're trading over on Bybit and Femix, uh, Bitcoin and other assets if you're just buying and hodling then of course uh, just dca with every bigger correction 
and let's go over into the daily time frame right now because here once more you can see that we are still far away from all the moving averages and usually the price always come down again especially in the short term back towards the 9 or 20 daily moving average and they are currently here between 21,200 and $20,000 exactly at our previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support. So I think it is very likely that we will at least come down here to test 20k before maybe we're gearing up for higher levels but let's see I think this week we're gonna see a decisive move here towards uh, 30,000 or $20,000 and uh, you can also see here the 200 daily moving average right here at $12,500. I think by next week this moving average will come towards here this $14,000 as well. Very similar where we have right now the 20 weekly moving average. So I think this is still a potential target here, especially this green trend line here at around $15,000. This acted always as a very strong resistance here after breaking 10k and we never came down to really test this trend line so it is very likely that sooner or later we will come down here to test this trend line and at that point we then we're gonna have to see where it's gonna be located because so far at the moment it's right here at $15,600 and now we can switch over into the Bollinger Bands in the daily because here as you can see we are still overshooting it to the upside so also here big warning we could at any time come down here to test these two moving averages and if you plan to open up a long position then watch out for these two levels right here 21,300 and right at 20 Okay. And with long position, my friends, I always mean that you can do a long term trade, a long term long position. So once Bitcoin is reaching this 100 or 200 thousand dollar, you will do life changing gains here, even with a small amount of money. And you don't even need to go with leverage in if you don't feel too comfortable with having a very close liquidation price. If you go, for example, 10x or 20x, then just open up a long position without leverage or maximum mm 2x or 3x because like that your liquidation price will be way below 10k so it's almost impossible to get liquidated and at the same time you also can DCA easily back into your long position more and more the lower the price goes and the cheaper Bitcoin you can also buy so opening up longs even now at these price levels is not a bad idea important is only that you are able to keep alive your trade and also don't go with high leverage in otherwise you will get most likely very easily liquidated if there happens something that we could see a big week to the downside so that's why my friends even now you can start to open up long positions especially if you're coming down towards the 20 and 21 thousand dollar area because Bitcoin in the next couple of weeks months and years will go way way higher so you can even start right now to DCA into some nice long positions for the long term I'm not talking about a day trade or something like this I'm talking about long-term trades and now since we are in the daily time frame let's go over to the Bitcoin dominance because here as you can see we have an initial rejection here in the 67 percent area and also if you have a look into the RSI and into my own indicator you can see that currently it looks like that we could have a top here and the Bitcoin dominance could drop again towards this 60 percent area that would mean that we most likely gonna see a little spike here in the altcoins to the upside so a little altcoin season is possible especially if you have a look here in ethereum chain link band protocol and so on they are still very undervalued in my opinion so probably they will start to pick up with the bitcoin price a little bit but of course, if here we're gonna break out to the upside here with the dominance, so if we go higher than 67%, I think uh, Bitcoin will way more outperform every other altcoins here in the close future, because in that case, all the money most likely is coming down to Bitcoin again and uh, we're gonna see the altcoins uh, bleeding at least compared to the Bitcoin price in US dollar value maybe some of them will still perform good but never like Bitcoin if here we are coming above 67 percent but if here we're gonna have this rejection that I think will come here in the next couple of days and weeks then I think we could see a little altcoin season upcoming and there you have to decide if you want then 
to keep up with your altcoins or maybe at that point you want to take some profits uh, into Bitcoin. So think about it if we're gonna see here this little altcoin season incoming. And don't forget, if you want to do these swing trades with uh, altcoins and you, if you want to buy altcoins, then make sure to open up a Binance account. You find my referral link down below here in the video description. Binance is a very important exchange. All of your newcomers here, you can buy easily all kind of cryptos that you want with your bank account, with your credit card and so on and you can also withdraw of course. So here on Binance basically you can do everything and also buy all the altcoins that you want. So if you do swing trades, so if you're buying altcoins to then take profits into Bitcoin for example, make sure to do it over on Binance. They have a very great liquidity and also Binance is very very safe. So if you still don't have a Binance account, make sure to use my link down below here to support the channel. And now let's go back to the spot chart and open up the weekly time frame because here we are of course still looking very very bullish we are printing a very bullish candle here with a new all-time high we are very very overbought of course and the correction and the pullback is always very likely at those stages of course for the long term bitcoin is looking very bullish and at any time we could expect something like this year when we had just like a week down towards the nine weekly moving average or the 20 weekly moving average. So here between $14,000 and $17,500. So be aware that we could see such a pullback incoming at any time. So make sure that you buy more and you scale in some nice long positions if the price is coming down to these levels before maybe is going even higher towards $30,000, which is in my opinion, very likely to be reached by the end of this year. So since we don't know if first we're gonna to have a bigger correction down to test this important support down here or maybe we're going straight towards 30k the only important thing is that you stick in with your strategy that you only buy if the price is dropping and only take profits if we are con going completely ham to the upside so towards 30k because when we are skyrocketing it's always good to take a little bit of profits out maybe if you need somehow that money and of course when everyone is for FOMO in, in something, it's always good to be a bit aware and also take out some profits. So for the worst case scenario, if there is going to be a big crash or a big correction, then you're ready also to buy even more. And also like this, you probably will not going out to panic sell because that is really the worst thing that you can do buy high and sell low this is really the worst thing that someone can do so make sure that you will not be one of them that will go out and panic sell take out a little bit of profits if you see that everyone is very greedy right now and buy back in when everyone is fearful all right my friends and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now let's see where we're gonna close this weekly candle and also how the next week will start i think we should expect new all-time highs again during this coming week so even though we could maybe see a correction towards 20k incoming we're gonna have to update here the moving averages here in the weekly tomorrow and see where the potential correction could end if there is a correction incoming but overall i think bitcoin in this week is going to continue here this upwards trending channel and we will see big moves incoming pretty soon and don't forget if you want to take as much gains as possible when we go up and down then you can do that over on bybit and femix if you need a free account then make sure to use my invitation links down below here because with my links you will get some extra bonus if you sign up and also put a minimum deposit on it and if you don't want to trade at your own but you want also a chance to multiply your bitcoin without doing anything then maybe try out prime xpt with my link down below here because then you can get access to this special co-besting feature that only prime xpt has where you can top up some bitcoin here and then just copy trade other successful traders like these two for example that had over 5,000% in gains, really amazing profits. So you see, even if you put here just a little bit of Bitcoin in it, you can do really nice gains. And next to that, of course, you can also just easily buy and sell Bitcoin here as well. So also here you can do some 
trading. So if you like the content, my friends, please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. And if you want to be always updated, you must be subscribed to this channel. And also, if possible, join our free Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free. Everyone is very welcome. And this is also where you can get access to my own indicator. So thank you very much for watching, my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.